This is not a typical day in class for Fearson White. This grade six student is learning firsthand traditional knowledge, like how to clean a rabbit, the Mi'kmaq way. Uh, it felt kind of weird, but it's, it's I don't know, how, how Mi'kmaqs did it. People did it before. This is part of the Mi'kmaq language class at the Ilnu Sibuk Jina Muwogwom School in Sabaganagadi, First Nation. Educational assistant John Michael shares his teachings, such as how to cut the meat to prepare for rabbit stew. When I was growing up, my dad taught me this, and he said, if you can learn how to do this here, you'll never starve. And one of the things I, I remember, too, it teaches a lot. It teaches with, um, like with respect and how we're connected to uh, Mother Earth and all the stuff here. Traditional culture and identity are also part of the teachings. Instructor Greg Marr says this knowledge came far too close to being lost. So when different um, things like um, Indian Residential School came and um, you know colonization took place, it kind of displaced our traditional lands. So um, all of our culture and all of our traditions, they went underground and uh, a lot of them sacred teachings were lost. But now some of those teachings are in the classroom. A traditional snare was made to catch the rabbit while an elder offered tobacco in thanks for the rabbit giving its life. To kind of close that gap of, um, you know, colonization. So we're looking for meaningful ways to decolonize um, our way of learning and to give back um, their teachings. For the next project, the students will learn how to make lobster traps to donate to the Mi'kmaq lobster harvesters. Angel Moore, APTN, National News, Chibuktuk, Halifax.